Hi, welcome back to the garden. A lot's changed in the last week. Um, I know there, I didn't post a video last week because I was sick and I'm still getting over it. Um, but we've had a lot change. Um, among other things, it's now warm enough that I'm back to wearing a straw hat. So just starting here inside, I did plant chard. They're coming up, um, but they're still all on their like first set of little leaves. So nothing there is ready to go outside yet. I still have no idea what these plants are that my wife planted. I also have no idea what these are that my wife planted, but as you can see, this little guy has gotten big. I suppose he's not that much of a little guy. No major changes on the calamansi tree. Over here, I just threw some radishes in there and they're still growing. No big deal. Now, this is where it gets kind of interesting. Um, some of these are radishes, like the, this one over here is radish radish but over here I've got a Thai chili pepper and my wife planted this and I just moved it into a bucket but as you can see we got a pepper coming on there and over here we've got some flowers showing up and in there we've got the beginnings of some peppers and somewhere on the other side of that leaf is the beginning of a pepper so I might get some peppers here. Um, I did put a stake to just support that and tied it off because it was starting to fall over. Up here, we've got our eggplant is progressing. Um, some of these are traditional, kind of what we as Americans think of as eggplant. Some of them are Asian eggplants, which are long and skinny. I honestly don't remember which one's which. This is kind of the miscellaneous stuff in here. Um, this thing that's getting tall along with this one are watermelon. And I believe the stuff in back are all, I was going to say they're all tomatoes, but looking at them, they're not all tomatoes. I should have labeled better. And this next section is, I believe, cherry tomatoes. And they're getting long and leggy and are dropping some of their leaves. So I'm going to give them some more water today and then try to move these little guys out into the garden, or at least the bigger ones, into the garden tomorrow. And just plant them up high and hope for the best. I come down here, I've got an absolute jungle of... Um, these are Thai green peppers in this first batch. Over here, we've got mostly, I think it's big boy or big red tomato. Yeah, big red tomatoes in this middle section. And as you can see, they're getting huge. So these guys are going outside soon. We're not quite to the average last frost date, but we're close and the weather's warm. Um, I believe these are just more peppers on the end. And I'm going to have a lot of peppers. Out here, the first thing you'll notice is Lake Onion has drained pretty significantly. And I've got surviving onions. It's muddy, but you can see some of these little guys are still alive. I'm happy. I don't think they all are, but some of them are. And some of this is just absolutely nasty. Looks like grass has tried filling into that onion bed. Oh well. I'll have to deal with that later once it dries. Coming over here to the carrots. We've got carrots. You can see down there, that's a carrot. So we might just pop the, pull these out early. Um, basically waiting till I actually need the bed before I've been going to pull them out. Um, they're still a little young. But I'm not sure they're growing much. Last time I was at a hardware store, they happened to have onion sets and onion starts. So this whole area here we planted, um, threw down a bag of potting soil just on top. And at this end, we've got a bunch of, uh, basically one bundle of onion starts and a bunch of onion sets that we put down in here. This is intended to be, um, you know, grass. 
this is intended to be our kind of scallion bed. And these just went in a few days ago, so they really haven't had time to do much. I noticed there wasn't a lot of root on any of these onions, so we'll see how they go, but I'm not entirely optimistic. Eh, more carrots. Over here, last year's chard, they're still growing slowly. Um, I'm probably going to throw some fertilizer out on these guys. And then over here, we've got the uh, HEB garlic growing. And this was just random garlic I had sitting, but we bought too much garlic at the grocery store, so I planted them. And they seem to be doing pretty well in those buckets. Um, let's see if they actually like produce new gar garlic cloves. Now, there's nothing actually planted in these beds, but I ran over this bed earlier in the week um, just to test out a new tiller I've got. So I ran over this with a Greenworks 40-volt cordless tiller, and as you can see, it broke up the soil a bit. Um, obviously, I don't have very good soil here, but it definitely broke things up. It didn't rip out the grass as well as I'd like. So, I may need to do something about the run over it again. But it was mostly just doing that as an experiment to see how that would break up the soil. Um, I'll have a full review on that tiller later. Man, I got a bunch of grass in here. And on this bed, it was the same thing. I just ran over it with the tiller. And for completeness, there's tilled up a small section of the soil there. Um, so far, I like the tool, but we'll see once this um, spring gets here, because I'm going to try to till up a huge amount of this area in here for beans and maybe corn. I don't know what I'm putting back there. If anyone has good suggestions on grains that are easy to garden, let me know. Um, I'm kind of thinking wheat because I could use it as bedding for chickens. Let's just walk over here to the chicken land. This is the beginning of what will be chicken land once we get there. Um, I'm in the process of getting it knitted off. Turns out 150 feet of chicken wire wasn't sufficient. So um, it's like it goes down there, over... And about where I'm pointing is where I ran out of netting and had to go buy more. <clears throat> so, I've got the found the additional T-posts that I'm going to need, some netting, and this is going to be the foundation for the chicken coop. This is probably my project for the next few weeks. So, I'm hoping on Sunday to get a lot of those indoor seedlings out into the garden beds, run through, kind of till up the garden beds a bit, and get those planted out here. <coughs> Excuse me. So this Sunday afternoon, after the church men's group, um, it's going to be a busy day. Probably going to be busy most of next week. Um, I'm hoping to get chickens started. I'm waiting for tractor supply to have laying hen or laying chicks, a breed that lays, um, in stock at a time I can actually get there. Um, they initially told me they'd have them on Monday this last week, and when I call them on Monday, they said, of course they don't have chickens on Monday, it's President's Day, that's crazy talk. Kind of annoying since they told me twice that they'd have them on Monday. And then, I think it was Wednesday, um, Tractor Supply in Navasota said they had chickens, and I called them, and I showed up and they had ducks, not chickens. So my attempts to get chickens so far have been rather unsuccessful, but I'm keeping up at it. That's it for now.